Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to finally bring you guys this video because it has been a very long time coming. I talked about this I think July early or late June maybe um and the topic as you can tell from the title is about dissolving my lip filler which like I said long time coming. I've been getting filler since 2015. 15 six to seven years which is crazy and i have never once gotten it dissolved um and so i wanted to start over for the wedding obviously i decided to finally do it once i got back from my bachelorette party and i did it with my friend courtney who owns canvas skin here in nashville tennessee it's near brentwood um i had an amazing experience and i think you guys will be able to tell that this process was kind of difficult for me because like I'll, I'm definitely in this vlog way more emotional than probably the normal person is because simply because how many times am I going to say because I spent so much of my life being insecure of my lips and opening myself up to hearing everybody's thoughts on my insecurity just really kind of wasn't the best feeling um and like obviously that's not a thing that most people have to worry about grand scheme of things it really showed me that i'm very very happy with my choice to get lip filler because it does make me feel better and i don't think there's anything wrong with that get whatever you want if it makes you feel better i'm all for it the whole process took about two weeks whenever they insert the dissolving stuff which you'll see um, you should wait two weeks in between each dissolving session before you dissolve more and also refill your lips. And so we were kind of on a time crunch because, time crunch, is that the right term? I don't know. Because my wedding was so soon after my bachelorette, um, we did a round of dissolving. She put a lot in there because she just wanted to get it done. Um, most people will say to go twice, two rounds of it, just to see, like, try to get most of it out and then the rest of it. So, she put a lot in my lips. And I, the most common question I get is, does it hurt? Yes, it definitely hurts way more than lip filler. Lip filler, to me, like, after I got lip filler, because it's been so long since I've had it, like... I'm pretty sure the last time I got my lips like really filled was 2019. Like, I've gotten touched up here and there, but 2019, um, which is crazy. Now that I've had a refresher, lip filler is like, to me, on a scale of 1 to 10, because like you get your lips numb, 1. The dissolving was probably like a 6. I am so happy with my experience, and I'm very happy that Courtney convinced me to do it. Um, I, once again, like, am not getting paid to say this, obviously. This is just a thing that you guys were so interested in, so I decided to make an entire video. Um, I go to Courtney for my Botox. I go to Courtney for my lip filler. I also got asked a lot, um, if I was dissolving filler anywhere else, and I'm assuming people are confusing Botox with filler, very different things. Botox doesn't change the way you look. I like when people comment that Botox changes the way you look, but it really doesn't. It just relaxes the muscles, so you're not getting deeper wrinkles. But no, I don't have Botox or I don't have filler anywhere else on my face. It's just simply in my lips. And now I think the total that I have in my lips is about one syringe. So now when anybody asks how much lip filler I have in my lips, I can finally answer that question because I get that question a lot as well. My lips have not fully like healed yet. I am about five, four days post lip filling. My lips feel definitely bruised. Definitely feel that there, there's definitely some swelling still. So obviously follow me along on my Instagram. I will be pl posting plenty over there of my healing process and everything like that. But here is a better look. You can kind of see right around here the bruising. Obviously bruising is inevitable, especially when your name is Sarah. I bruise 
so easily. I could like literally look at something and I start bruising. So that's really fun. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to touch on. Um, here obviously is the result. It will continue to go down, but I really think it's just natural looking, which is what we were going for. Um, I think getting lip filler for me personally, and it's funny because I was actually talking about this on Instagram with Tiffany from Makeup by Tiffany D because she and I have very similar faces. We both are like we need the lips to be filled to like proportionate, is that the right word? The rest of my face. So that is mainly why I like to get filler. Um, if you guys have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them on Instagram stories. But until then, let's get into this journey. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it. It's pretty crazy. Let's freaking go. Good morning, you guys. So today is, I wanted to say Monday, but it's definitely Thursday. So it's a big difference. Um, I am currently gathering up my things. We're gonna go to my fitting for my dress, which is why I have my Bottegas here in my underwear thingy majigger and I'm also going to get my filler dissolved. You guys know I've been putting this off for a while but I was traveling so much and you have to like let your filler dissolve within like a few weeks so I'm so nervous right now but I know it's for the best and I want to look my best and I've been very insecure about my lips in the last few months I guess so we're gonna make a change which is always important a lot of people ask why I'm getting it done it's because I've had filler for since 2015 seven years so I've had seven years of filler in my lips like it's time so we're gonna start dissolving it and then we're just gonna redo it okay we got the numbing on <laughs> getting nervous it's gonna hurt but will burn is what they say I'm so scared though. Hi, I'm Courtney Allen, FNPC, and I own Canvas Skin, and my long-term <laughs> friend, Sarah, is here today, and we're going to Hyalinex her lips. So I just want to tell you guys what Hyalinex is and how it works. So Sarah has great, beautiful lips, but sometimes it's just best to start over and start with a clean slate, and that's what we're going to do today. So filler just continues to build up and build up, and then it even gets more harder for our bodies to break down. Um, so we have to inject something called Hyalinex, and it essentially is injected in um, and essentially eats up the filler. Then we're going to go back in about two weeks, and then we'll inject new filler in, and she'll have nice new fresh lips and get to start. It does sting a little bit, and I always tell my patients that because you need to know that up front. Um, but <laughs> she'll start noticing that her lips will be gone uh, down in about 48 hours. I'm not worried about what you're doing. I'm just worried about what I look like in 24 hours. <laughs> so we have numbed her with lidocaine, tetracaine, benzocaine, which is a topical numbing agent. And then now we're just going to alcohol and clean. So you can get her really, really clean. When we get filler for so long, it becomes an emotional process for a lot of people because it's your face. And, and you get used to a normal, that normal size of lips and then taking it away you feel some type of way. And that's true for everyone. So it's always an emotional process when we start talking about Hyalinex and for most. But honestly, in the end, you're gonna be so much more happier. Your results are gonna be more beautiful. Um, and it's just best to start over and start cleaning. Okay, I'm gonna start um, at your top. You're full of bite, okay? I'm sorry. Yep, I know. Are you okay? Yeah, it's not that bad. Really? They didn't yeah. sting? It stings, but it's not that bad. Ooh, makes your eyes water though. It only stings for like one second. Yeah, it's just the initial of eating it. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I just finished my first session. I look crazy because apparently my lips are full of fluid, but I'll be back here soon. Okay, so my friend Courtney just finished dissolving my filler, okay, there we go. You can see right here, oh, right here. Um, very swollen. <laughs> it's hard for me to talk because there's so much liquid or like that acid that she injected into my lips, in my lips, which is what's supposed to happen because it's like you're dissolving something like a medicine in 
a lot of liquid and so that liquid is going to be the thing that is going to break it down. You can see right now that it is not... <laughs> it looks so crazy. Okay, honestly though, on the scale of 1 to 10 on like pain, I would give it like a 4 or 5. It's not comfortable, that's for sure, and it's definitely going to make your lips water. If you find that lip filler hurts, you'll probably not like this because personally I don't find that lip filler is that painful, but this is way worse. Okay, so, um, I don't like this. I feel like it accentuates my teeth more and I don't love that. Um, but I, as you can tell, have a lot of the filler dissolved. It's like almost 10 hours after. Okay, here is my um, update for October 7th. Completely dissolved in my front, my top lip. Like I don't feel any filler. Okay, so we are about a week into my dissolving journey. About a week more to go um, and I kind of wanted to update you guys on where I'm at in this because I don't know I'm like really honestly torn up about it like I I could cry and I know it seems really dramatic but like when your biggest insecurity is like put on you know on a platter for everyone to comment on it's just kind of going it's making me go crazy i guess is the best way to say it and i get that there's you know people dying in this world and this is literally not significant at all but like when it's your job to like look at yourself all day it's inevitable you know so as you can see i have overlined my lips today and i'm just not feeling the best so the whole reason i decided to do this was because my filler had migrated and it was just like all types of lumpy and I knew that but I was just like whatever you know it's fine just because I had so much traveling going on for like the last year and I knew with my wedding coming up I didn't want that so I had to put time aside to dissolve my filler um, the question I keep getting asked the most is did it hurt um, yeah it's not that bad because it's over like that like they inject you it hurts for that one second and then it's over and then they inject you again it hurts for that one second and then it's over i'm pretty much back to where i began and i'm just like really frustrated because i've asked everyone on instagram to like not comment on this because like i know what i want to do and my biggest insecurity has always been my lips and when you have like I said, that many people commenting on, like, a part of you, it just, like, it, it drives you insane. There's no other way to describe it, and, like, I feel terrible about myself, and, like, I'm not saying that if you have small lips, it's not, like, pretty or anything like that. I'm saying on me, I don't like it, and that's fine. You know, you may like filler on you, you may not like filler on you. I personally like it, and that's just my preference. Like, there's people with small lips that look amazing. I just don't feel like that's me. <laughs> it makes my chin look extra pointy. I just don't, I don't feel good and it's really tearing me up. Act like this isn't a big deal because it's really not a big deal. It's just, and like no one on the street's gonna be like, well, that girl has small lips, you know, but I don't know. There's my update. Um, I got some clothes in the mail though, so that's exciting. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I got um, just to like, <laughs> bring some normalness to this vlog. Outfit on Revolve that I really liked and that I wanted to recreate for our honeymoon. So I got like three of the four items that the model was wearing. I got this like sheer top. I got this blue crop top, which is giving Mew Mew, which I was so excited about. And then I got the matching, well, it's not matching but I got the jacket that the model's wearing by Eves. And this is actually a Prada dupe, fun fact. So I was really excited about this. I very rarely wear motorcycle jackets, but this one, this brand on Revolve is just the best um, coat brand ever. So I got it. But as you can see, it's layer, it's got actual layer, li lining lining in it which is really nice um i got another version of this attico dress well dupe 
and this is like under 100 bucks and I was so excited about this color because I do want to wear more red. Jumpsuit because denim on denim is all the rage right now so it's just like a corset that goes into a pair of pants. It's so Nashville, Tennessee that I'm excited about it and then I also got this Elsa Hosk. Es Elsa Hosk? I don't know cashmere just like throw on dress I'm probably one of the most excited pieces I've ever had and finally I got a new pair of Attico sunglasses from Revolve I lost my favorite pair of Bottega sunglasses they were like these black cat eyes whenever I was in the Hamptons I have no idea what happened to it so I got these so that's what I got um <laughs> just some normalcy you know not talking about my lips for once it's just great even though this is like a lip filler dissolving uh, Insta or YouTube video, you know. Anyway, so that's uh, what I got. Going to get my filler done, which is so exciting because obviously it has been a long time coming, two weeks to be exact. Um, I'm so ready though because I just don't feel like myself. I mean, it it wasn't that bad. I will say whenever I went and got my makeup done recently, um, a makeup artist obviously knows way better than I do out overline a lip more than you know I do so it looked really good but um, I'm excited to finally get my lips filled okay so I just pulled up to canvas it's right there I'm excited minus the zit Ugh, the zit's ruining my life my hair is absolutely horrendous but one of those days where you just simply can't. Numbing. So of all the fillers, we went through all the fillers and we talked about them, me and Candler mm -hmm. here, and we have decided that Decon is going to be the best for you because you're still going to get um, a good a volume um, based on the G-Prime, but Define is still in a category of fillers that has high elasticity. Um, so you have, you're already used to having a certain size of lips. So we're still gonna have to meet that size. They just need to be perfectly done. Bat bite, okay, I'm sorry, a little bitty bat bite. Nothing's as bad as the dissolver, so we're good. Mm-hmm. You okay? Mm-hmm. So you're gonna fall one more itty itty bitty bat bite, okay? Yeah, we're going slow, but slowly but surely, girls. Okay, so I just left, and we put a little less than a syringe of filler. So I've never been able to tell you guys how much filler I've had in my lips because we've always constantly been building as opposed to starting fresh now. So right now I have syringe a filler in my lips I like can't stop looking at myself because I'm like oh it's like a shock you know because I I was shocked at first with having no lips and now I'm like Toby I'm gonna go take it easy because I got filler and Botox today um, we're getting the works done for my wedding, so I'm so excited. So that is the journey. I know, it's been a crazy, like, last three weeks. Um, this entire process took about three weeks. I mean, like, between two, between two and three weeks, I would say. But I'm so happy with how everything turned out. Um, honestly, I, I, I just... I'm really glad that you guys could come along on this journey, because I know not a lot of people know about it. I have heard about it minimally, but never too much. So I'm very, very excited to be the one to talk to you guys about it today. Um, if you guys, like I said, have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them over on Instagram. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.